Yeah, I'll get out of your way, it's no big deal. Oh yeah, how am I gonna get him up? Oh my god. I've never fished with anything like this on the channel. He actually bent out my hook. That fish was flying. There he is. Oh my god. Before this video gets started, I would like to say I am gonna be giving away all this tackle at the end of the video, but do not skip through. I would like you guys to watch this all the way through. I actually just got done with the challenge and it is a juicy one for sure. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Hey yo, what's up people? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. Let me go through two little quick things, so don't skip through this real quick. First thing I'd like to say is I'm actually sick. I'm feeling really bad right now. I might not sound like it. I got like it's really bad sinus. My throat's killing me. I don't know, but I'm popping this video out for you guys. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. So I'm always going to be here for you guys no matter what as well. Second thing, the last video that I uploaded, 30 minutes after I uploaded it, YouTube actually shut down. Like everything on YouTube stopped working. The views are literally down by like 5,000 of what they usually would be right now. And it's actually a really good video. So 1v1 fishing challenge versus me versus Alan on the kayaks. If you guys want to go check that one out, I'll link it below. It's actually a really fire video. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Something different. But anyways, you're going to be going inside of Walmart today and finding the cheapest lures and then we're gonna go take them to the old pond and go fishing so let's go ahead and go inside all right everybody just made it inside of Walmart we're gonna take a look at everything they got right here because we needed to find the cheapest lures that they have in here I feel like we're gonna pick out three today maybe four and that's what we're gonna go with but let's look at what they have so coming over to the soft plastics they usually have some stuff down in this bin down here for the clearance bin but they currently don't today I mean they have a few baits but nothing much. But moving on over here, we're trying to find the cheapest one that they have. Some zoom baits that are around $2, $3. Power bait, which is like $7. They got some culprit that's like around 4 or $5. Then they got some yum that's around $2. So I feel like that is what we need to go with today. So I know I've used them in the other videos, the old yum dingers. We're gonna go with these right here, just some regular June bug worms. $2.96, that's our first lure. You have some old crappie baits right here. And when I look down here, you have these little twirly tail rubs for two dollars and 56 cents but you actually get seven of them in a pack so i think we're gonna have to go with these since you can get seven for two dollars and 56 cents i mean we can get something over here for like a dollar but then again you get seven of these things for two dollars and 56 cents hopefully we will not have a hard time with the hookup ratio on these things because i know you know it's made for crappie it's got a really small hook i don't know if it's going to be super hard to hook them or not i guess we'll end up finding out i mean when i drop shot you know i use a baby baby little hook anyways and i i don't really lose too many fish so i'm not too worried about it but let's look for one more lure that we can get i'm trying to do stuff that's different that i haven't done on the channel like these i've never fished with anything like this on the channel on um, the senkos obviously i have but i feel like i need something that's somewhat decent that i can catch a fish on and so we need to find one more so one thing that everybody's been commenting in the comment section is jigs you guys want to see me fish a jig everyone keeps commenting it and they actually have a jig here for two dollars all right, they got a jig here for $2 is by Strike King. So I think I'm gonna get one of these. Let me show you. So these are all the jigs that they actually have. They're pretty much all by Strike King. They got some bitsy bugs right here. I think I'm gonna go with one of these. So go for this one right here. This old bad boy, only $2. And that's our third and final bait. I'm a freaking goober and I left my Texas rig box at the house of my kayak. So that is one thing I need to buy is some bullet weights and then some hooks. So the hooks I'm gonna get is just some standard old uh laser sharp ones these are super cheap super inexpensive we're just gonna get these i'm gonna simply get some one fourth ounce bullet weights it's just gonna keep it super simple super easy well, let's go check out all righty so the total price for the lures ended up being around nine dollars and that or it was like eight dollars i actually bought some more stuff so i couldn't even have to like look at the receipt and count everything up so pretty much it came with those little uh twirl tail little grubs for crappie that was like seven of them then we got the jig and then we got a whole pack of Senkos. So that was only around $8. That's pretty cheap, pretty expensive if you ask me, but we're about to head to the pond, baby, and catch some fish. Let's get it. So we have just made it to our first location. And obviously the first thing that we need to do is rig up our poles. So I actually have three rods with me today. I'm actually gonna be rigging the baits on three different rods just because I don't feel like retying on all different poles and that whole deal. So obviously I got an old spinning rod right here that I will be putting that old little crappie uh, twirly tail grub on. And then I'll be putting a jig on this old bad boy right here. Got a Concept Z and a Defy by 13 Fishing. And then lastly, for my Texas rig, for my Senko, I'm gonna be putting it on this fake chrome right here on a Concept Z. Both of these bait casters have 15 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon and the old spinning rod has a braid to fluorocarbon leader with 10 pound fluorocarbon on it. I just realized I left my pliers in my kayak, but I got this old 
knifey right here so we're about to use that boy about to tie these suckers on let me go through what i got real quick so i have these little yum dingers right here and june bug got this little tiny strike king jig and then these little curly cell baby grubs for coffee and then obviously the bullet weights and the hooks i actually already have a texas rig on so i probably bought those for no good reason but i'll use them eventually that's not a big deal So I have all my baits rigged up. I'm very excited about this little crappy jig head right here because I have yet to even fish for something like that for bass. So that's gonna be fun. I got this jig and then my old Senko. There is a problem about the jig. I don't have a trailer, but I believe I might in the back of my truck. I got an old rage tiller right here. I just realized how small that jig is. I did not know it was that small, but I can probably bite down this thing and throw it on there. Alrighty, let's get this started. I think I'm gonna start off with the jig real quick. There's a lot of grass in here. It's the only thing I'm worried about. I might have to switch right over to the Senko, but we're gonna start off with this jig and see if we can get a bite. Oh my God, he has it. There's no way, there's no way first cast. Oh my God, he came off. Freaking first cast on the jig. First cast. Oh my God, one just had it. Look at him right there, there's like three of them. Oh my God, they're small. Oh, there's a fish about to eat it. took my trailer that was my only trailer i have with me i cannot believe that right away he actually bent out my hook oh my gosh he literally bent out my hook are you kidding me what kind of hook is on this thing that is unbelievable i'm gonna pick up something else see if i can catch him oh my god that was awesome. I literally watched him eat that thing. First freaking fish. There we go, baby. It is not big, but that is one lure off the list. The baby little crappie right there. Let's go, baby. That's nothing much at all, but that is the first fish of the day. Got the monkey off her back and caught him on the old little crappie jig head. out there i want to see if i can catch another one on this thing mainly some small ones in this pond i just want to start off here to see if i could catch a few i was kind of reeling this thing at the top of the water and jerking my rod just trying to get a reaction bite out of these fish not really letting them look at it dragging it right past them i mean it's such a small profile bait that you know they shouldn't be really finicky about it if they see this thing go past their face i mean they're just gonna swat at it and eat it Twice. that's a fish baby i know it one in that corner Yep, that is the smallest bass I think I've ever seen. All right, whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> Bait's so small, anything can eat it. That's a bass. Baby, baby, gosh, guys. Dink Nation, man. Go ahead and roast me in the comment section for all these small fish. Ridiculous, man. I mean, these aren't even like, <laughs> these are pitiful. What do you expect to catch on this little bad boy right here? All right, I think that's my last cast of this thing. We might pick up that Senko. Are you freaking kidding me? That's just, it's just amazing. I literally hook set him all the way to the bank and I barely even hook set him. Well, there we go. At least we caught something other than bass today. <laughs> Alrighty, I know you guys are probably tired of seeing me yank on all these dinks, so it's just way too easy. I don't even want to fish if it's going to be that easy. We're already pond fishing, and pond fishing is just, you know what I mean. Oh, there he is. There we go. That is a baby freaking fish, but I can tell you one thing. That is two baits knocked off this list. We're going to still catch some more on this, don't worry, but what in the world? Let's, let's move locations. I'm tired of catching these small ones. Not gonna lie, that was kind of fun, but that is not what we're looking for in this video. We're gonna be switching locations now. We're gonna go hunt and try to find some bigger fish and also catch a fish on this old jig. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that hook is clearly bent. I didn't even flip around any cover other than, you know, some just grass down there. That is insane. I'm gonna have to end up bending that back out. I don't have pliers with me. I can probably do it with this knife. And I'll throw another ridge tail on. Alrighty, we're starting off with this little jig. We're gonna see if we can complete this challenge. I'm not going to end it if I go ahead and complete it this early, but oh my gosh, there's no freaking way. There's no freaking way. I cannot believe that, guys. Literally, just like that, completed the challenge within 20 minutes, if that. That is insane. I see a fish jumping over there. Let's get back in there. Oh my gosh. How do you miss it? 
How'd he freaking miss it? That was the fastest bass I've ever seen in my life. What in the world? You had to have seen me or something. That fish was flying. There he is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is insane. You made my rod whistle like crazy. That's not a bad one. Dude, he hammered that jig, guys. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful fish. Thick and healthy. Not a bad one at all. Definitely the biggest one today. It's nothing big, but fighting like crazy. Saw some move off the bank right there. Yep. He just hammered me. He's got it. Small one. Literally just saw this bad boy through over there. About five, six foot off the bank. He just came right off and ate it. Baby little bass. He's got it. What in the world? Yep, he had it, but <laughs> pulled the little little tails off. Oh yeah, but that's a better one. There we go. That is a better one right there. Right off the end of that pipe. Boom, baby. Just like that, little old baby bass. That's better than the dinks we were catching at the other pond. That's for sure. Jig back in there, see if we can get another one. See me popping that jig right there? Right in the top of his mouth, looking to meet that thing. God, that is the best bite ever is when you're stroking it like that and they just load up on it. That's literally the best bite ever. These guys are fighting so hard on this thing. It's a lot of fun. It's gonna get me addicted to the jig fishing for sure. I cannot believe it, literally not believe it. I know exactly how to get him to bite now. Exactly. It's my favorite way to fish a jig too, and you guys are about to learn today. I'm about to show you guys a little secret. So usually I wouldn't do this with a small jig, but since this pond is very, very shallow, it works. I'm simply gonna hang my meat, like I was showing you guys earlier. I call it hanging my meat, all right? Instead of putting it through the head of the bait, you're gonna bite it down, and then you're just gonna hook it right through the middle, just like that. See that, how it just hangs down? Just like that, and catch your bait out there. I cannot believe how many fish are right here. Let it hit the bottom, and then just start stroking your rod up like this. It's gonna create a little reaction bite. I'm telling you, they cannot stand it. The only problem with doing this with a small jig is that usually when they bite it, it's because that jig's dropping super fast. So you're hopping it right off the bottom, and with a heavy weight, that jig's gonna drop down right away. With this lighter jig, it's not always gonna do that. You know, you're gonna be popping your rod. It's gonna more of swim than actually popping that thing off the bottom every single time. Cause if you got like a one ounce jig or a three quarter, I mean, that thing's gonna literally shoot off the bottom and then land right back on the bottom, shoot off the bottom, land right back. Right now it's more of like you're swimming it. Oh my God. Guys, I was a freaking toad and I just missed it. I just freaking missed a giant. Look at the swirl on the water still. That was a, oh my God. Cannot believe I just missed that fish. That was a big in, I promise you. Golly. Looks like I'm about to get kicked out though, so we're gonna be a little quiet. How you doing? All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll get out of your way. I appreciate it, man. A few, <laughs> just hot. Yeah, man. Super hot. All right. Yeah, I'll get out of your way. It's no big deal. All right, brother. You have a good one. Yeah. No, I get it, man. Thank you. Well, I guess we're leaving out of there. That guy was really nice about it though. When he kicked me out, he wasn't. He wasn't rude. He's like, dude, it's not my rule. He's like, I just can't. I was like, all right, brother. Yeah, man. I shouldn't have walked as far as I did anyways. I usually don't walk far that down, especially because they're golfing today. So I tend to not, you know, get in anyone's way. Which I wasn't. There was only like one golfer out here. Like that's why I kind of walked down. I was just getting too carried away with that jig bite. It was just too good. I couldn't stop. But we're going to head to a new location, see if we can catch some more on the other baits. But I do hope you guys enjoyed those little tips I throw in there. If you guys like the little tips that I throw like inside the video, then be sure to pepper that like button and let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to hear tips along with these challenges. Just got to our new location. We're going to be throwing the Sanko at this one. We're going to try to focus on that i think we only caught one fish on it so i want to throw it around see if we can catch a lot on it that is in my opinion probably the easiest bait to catch fish on i mean you have the little crappie jig head i mean that's good as well but then again you're gonna catch a lot of small ones so let's focus in on the senko on this hole see if we can catch some fish oh my 
gosh, there should be some fish in this corner. Looks so good right there. Oh, he just hammered me. He's got it. Oh, <laughs> that is a freaking fatty. Look at that thing. Look at that one. That is the fattest bass I've caught today. Got a little tummy on him. On the old Senko. Nothing big, but gosh, this is a little, little stubby one. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I literally almost slipped. I, I did slip, matter of fact. I slipped on this pine straw. I, I about went in right there, not going to lie. I about fell right all in that grass right there. That would have been a good blooper, man. Be a good old blooper. See if we can get him to bite. These Senkos are extra greasy. I don't know why. The yum dingers are usually not that. It's got like a dang side of extra grease on them. Let's see right down the pipe. I don't know how deep it is out there. Right down the, there he is. Yep. Oh yeah. How am I gonna get him up? <laughs> He's not as big as I thought. It's a solid pound and a half heavy fish. I thought he was about a three pounder for a second when he came up. He's right where he should have been, right down the pipe right there. I'm sure there's a little small drop off on each side. Usually some of these ponds are flat, but there's a reason why he was sitting there. God, I had him good, that's for sure. Pretty little bass, about a pound and a quarter, pound and a half. He feels like he's about a pound and a half for how thick and heavy he is. He's a heavy fish. He's got it. Little baby, dude. God, golly, man. Calm down, boy. I'm about to release you. Freaking baby. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, fish. Oh, no. <laughs> gosh, I did not mean to tank him about 10 foot. I was really not expecting to get a bite. I was about to lift my bait out of the water and he just had it. <laughs> there he is. Right where he should have been. That shade right on this bank. Got a little bit of cover. Boom. What a freaking fatty boys. Little fat, fat bass. Simply throwing the Senko out there just like that. Throwing it parallel to all this cover on this bank. There's a lot of shade. Simply throwing it out there and just dragging this thing. Not doing much with it. So I just drag it just like this. And just let it sit. Lift back up on my rod, start dragging it again. Let it sit. I'm not sitting here popping this bait like this. Every once in a while I will because I do have a little bit of grass on my bait. So I will kind of pop my rod like this. Sometimes that little, that little movement of your rod popping, that bait popping up is gonna allow that bass to you know, commit and strike it, strike it, but just simply dragging this thing around the bottom, right where that grass is at. Alrighty, everyone. Sorry, but that is going to conclude this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, but guess what? I'm going to be giving away this tackle. I did it in the last fishing challenge where it's my cheap versus expensive spinner bait. What I pretty much want you guys to do is like this video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications, and simply just comment down below that you've turned on post notifications and leave some form of social media, whether it's tint, tinder was i really just about to say tinder oh my god twitter instagram or facebook leave that below so i can contact you guys to get your address to ship it out i'm going to be picking one lucky winner to win the stuff that i used in this video overall guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one if i could layer it down to my favorite bait out of the three i really enjoyed catching them on that jig that was a lot of fun stroking that jig up and they were just loading up on that thing also the senko you know that's a very reliable bait that can always catch bass if you go out there and throw it in the right location. And with the old crappie bait, I just felt like it was gonna catch a lot of small fish and I really wanted to try to get some big ones in this video. Sadly, I didn't, but I did get a lot of fat bass for you. And yeah, it was a fun challenge. I hope you enjoyed the cheap Walmart fishing challenge. Just heard a fish blow up in the background. Thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to pepper that like button up and enter the giveaway. I love you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I got sky like the weatherman, uh I crack cars, get hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters wins, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh
Before this video gets started, I would like to say I am going to be giving away all this tackle at the end of the video, but do not skip through. I would like you guys to watch this all the way through. I actually just got done with the challenge, and it is a juicy one for sure. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video.